Hey guys, welcome back to the 5R Show. I'm your host, Raymond. And as promised, today we're going to be opening up the bootleg of Perceptor. Why? Well, for one, we need that gun to complete our hot rod, our jumbo hot rod, which we opened last time. And then we get to see Ravage as well. And we'll get to explore and also make comparisons between the original Takara Microscope Microman and the bootleg Perceptor toy. So without further ado, let's open up Perceptor. All right, and we've already done the package review. So now it's just simply a matter of opening the package okay and here goes nothing so we'll open it here all the way down and then we will open halfway down and that's it now let's uh Take all our pieces out. Don't need that. All right, and here we go. There we go. Here are our toys. Um, here is Perceptor's. Uh, Microscope section. Okay. It uh, does it work? Actually, it doesn't. Oh, it slides. So that's one cool thing that we just found out. It slides. So if you're looking through, which there is nothing, there's no glass, guys. <laughs> Sorry. So that's kind of funny. So you, yeah, I might have to get a, a if I can find a replacement. But yeah, I thought that might do for now. So that's funny. It just slides. <laughs> so it's, uh, that's funny. Okay, so it's a sliding piece. But it do, the rest of it does uh, function. So I didn't break it. But that's a good sign. And then you have your swiveling piece. So that's a good thing. Okay, so now we know that's what that piece does. It is a little bit loose, unfortunately. Uh, and then now, of course, here we have the other gun that goes to our hot rod. So we'll have to put that together later on. Here is a very funny piece. It is a bootleg ravage. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's got that bootleg sticker. The ravage itself is, uh, wow, somebody in China really didn't... Uh, they wanted it to look like a real tiger? I don't know. But anyway, there is no metal in these pieces, by the way. So let's remove the, the weapons, which are actually very, very impressive. They're not, I would say they would rival real weapons. There might be a, a little bit, a few differences on it. But they do look very nice. As for our Ravage here, which is kind of funny, he's very, very uh, light. So, and in this case, it seems like he's uh, either assembled wrong or there you go. So, anyway, so let's turn our Ravage into a cassette and see if, uh, well, We'll see what it does. So everybody knows how to transform a Ravage. So that's the cassette, which uh, there is no cassette side. Sorry, guys. So that's the only thing is it's got that little sticker, which is actually really cool, you know. But that is our Ravage. Uh, why he's with Perceptors beyond me. But that was probably an incentive to get you to buy all the bootlegs, of course. Okay, so now let's take a look at our Perceptor. So Perceptor here has um, a data file chest. 
So the chest is actually all sealed. It, it's 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 a one piece. There's no um, wind shield or a glass piece that goes in there. And then um, his head looks pretty good. Uh, the the toy itself is very light, but at the same time very sturdy. It's it's a it's a good rendition of a bootleg for an original toy. Uh, yeah, you can see some of the, uh, yeah, it's like uh, maybe there's flashing they missed. They got to cut something and then put it together correctly. Now, here's the thing. So they put, they put these extra extensions on the feet. Can you see that, guys? So these are the extra extensions on the feet. But they actually put them in the wrong place. So here we have these hollow pieces. And uh, it really is just a hollow piece. It's a hollow piece and it's an extra foot. And the extra foot is molded off of that which would be Perceptor's foot. So um, let's put this foot back here and we'll do this. And then we'll do the same here and do this. And see now he's, he's got a really wide stance. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's just, uh, it's kind of funny, but that's what it is right there. And so we've got our parts here. These of which we do not need. We simply need that. Let's remove these foot pegs, which is kind of funny. It's like, is he sitting down? What, what, what's he doing? <laughs> so, so it's very strange. Um, I would say that you could use these for something, customize them to do something else. They are pieces. Uh, what could you do with them? I don't know. Um, it just, it's, it's funny. They're there. They made extensions so that the toy could be larger. But anyway, let's get rid of these parts and let's put them to the side. And here we have our Perceptor. And here we have our situation. Now we are going to um, compare them. So if you look at the arms, the details are the same. The hands, the details all are the same. The chrome peg, the chrome uh, dial, sorry, is a little thinner than the original one. And the chest and the center section, you can probably see right there right off the back and I don't know but the original one has a shorter peg in the middle and a little triangle detail piece in there but the new bootleg version does not have that the chest piece however does look um, practically the same except for the small detail here that is not on here the die cast metal body is uh all plastic of course the feet and legs uh all seem to look the same the detail on the feet are just a tad bit different uh the bootleg the bootleg version has detail on the feet that is a little bit less um uh, i'm sorry narrow as opposed to the original version which is more uh wider it's a little wider detail. So it's not, not huge differences, but there are differences in the bootleg. And I know it's a bootleg. I know. On the back, of course, the bootleg does not have those uh, Takara Japan. But other than that, there really isn't much difference on the back. It is almost all identical. Well, there is one difference. So on the on the inside of the original, there's a little section here that looks like a triangle detail. The bootleg is missing that piece. It doesn't have it on the bootleg, but the original does have that little triangle detail, and that's what's missing. So that's what's different. Aside from that, the original has the slide out wheels. Of course, the bootleg also has 
the slide out wheels. So for a bootleg, this is actually not bad. And that's the thing is it's not bad. It's, it's really well made. So we'll open the chest up and yeah, you know, it's, it's decent. The plastic is light. Oh, there you go. There's, there's one, there's the native. It's missing an insert. The insert being the small plastic, um, you know, what would be the, uh, the little film plate when you use the microscope. So that's what it's missing. So it's, it's actually just hollowed out. So, uh, aside from that, let's do something quick. Now I do intend to repair this and I do intend to, uh, complete it, but for just for sakes, let's check it out and see if it does fit. And there it is. It does work. Just got to take that sticker off. So, I mean, as a temporary, I'm okay with it. Now the bottom, the back, it's, uh, you can see the flashing is way, way more than the original. So it does work, you know, but it, it does look cool, you know, but before we do that, I did want to transform the bootleg because I want you guys to understand, uh, how good or how bad it is. And I'll tell you, brother, this, this, uh, this bootleg is actually not so bad. And so before we do that, let's attach his um, microscope sectional. See, this is the thing that scares me. It's like, if you put that in, it might break it, but it, it works. It's fine. There is our perceptor. Um, and he, I mean, that's the complete perceptor right there. Okay. Sorry guys. So that's the complete perceptor. Uh, it looks really good, you know, for a bootleg, that's really decent, you know, that's really decent, but let's transform him. That's what I want to do. Push the head in, lift these, uh, up, turn these around, put the fist in, lift this up to the middle. Slide the arms in to hold this sectional here. It does do the job. It, it's not chintzy. It's not falling apart. It's, it's really nice. So now let's just finish the transformation with the, um, what is it? Uh, I forgot how this goes like this. Okay. And you lift this up. Turn this around, close this, and flip this on. And they actually painted the treads as opposed to the original, which they did not. So they, they said, well, yeah, this is going to be a tank. So they actually did that. So that is the microscope. And so there you go. What's, can you see what's in there? Nothing. It's just the hole. <laughs> so that is the microscope it does look really good for a bootleg it does the job um and put it back together so it does do the job it does look good i mean even just just for a bootleg it does the job it looks great so you know and then of course uh back in robot mode um we would um you know we would put uh, Perceptor's weapons in his hands. And of course, uh, I'm sure that Perceptor's weapons, the bootleg weapons. Oh, and, and here is another difference. I missed this. So the bootleg doesn't have a dial. It just has a slider as opposed to the dial. So I missed that. Sorry, guys. So it does have a slider, not a dial. It's a slider. So you just slide it, which is, you know, I guess it's fine. It works. So why not? But anyway, like I was saying, let's uh, slide the fist out and put the weapons in. And we should have 
no problem with the bootleg weapon scenes how that's how they did it and actually that's interesting that means that these peg holes are just just a tad bit off which is not bad you know so anyway uh we've got that and we are going to be a little bit closer to completing this one uh with that and the comparisons between these two the real toy and the bootleg toy plus our little ravage which is a, a foreshadowing of the next video which will be sound blaster okay so that does it for today's five hour show thanks for watching thanks for coming and uh we ask you to share like comment let us know what you think if you haven't please consider subscribing to the show uh, we're going to be doing more reviews more restorations keep checking the channel for future content thanks for watching god bless you take care in jesus christ's name as always and i will see you on the next episode of the five hour show